Morning guys, another science video. So this one looks at neutralization. Now neutralization is where you have an acid and an alkali and you try to obviously neutralize it to make a pH 7. What I've got in this case is acid, um, some water which is pH 7 and I'm going to try and get it as close to pH 7 as I can by adding so many drops of this and so many drops of this. So I'll just hold the video there. I've got pipettes here. Now, if you haven't used a pipette, Sideways, try not to get air bubbles. Press down firmly. Take up, I've got a mill there. And I'm gonna put a mill of this acid um, into here. Okay. Got plenty of these papers, indicator papers. If I put a little bit in there, you should see that go orange or red. Take a little while to pick up. Okay, that one's actually coming out green. So, take a little bit of the paper, we can just use the same end here. And that one's coming out bright red. So, good example of actually, of why we test before we start, is that we know that this one's actually the water and this one's the acid. So I'm gonna swap them around just for my purposes of the video. This is my acid, this is my water. I've got some water in already, and as a result, we're getting some green on here. However, if I pour the water back in there, okay, add some acid, take a fresh bit of paper, okay, new test, place that in, oh, I've got two pieces there, place that in there. We can see that goes clearly bright red, orange, okay, clearly an acid. However, if I keep adding water to this, essentially diluting the acid, reducing the concentration of hydrogen ions, three mil, four mil, five mil, that should take the region closer to this end of the scale, <clears throat> being that water is obviously pH seven. So fresh bit of paper, place in there. And instead of a bright red, we're now getting an orange. Okay, we're getting pH two or three. Okay, see it matches up sort of there on the scale. If I keep adding water, just to speed the process up a little bit, I'm just going to pour this directly in. I would see about 75 to 100 ml I've added there. Universal indicator paper. Remember, we started with bright red, which is over here. We then got like an orangey colour here. Okay. Now that I've diluted that, we're getting a paler orange, I would say closer to pH 3, and you can neutralize solutions by obviously adding water or adding alkali, but it's really difficult to do so. Well, you can also see, because that solution hasn't fully mixed, the water that was near the top of the beaker is reading more of an orangey green color, closer to 6 and 7, okay, and obviously the bottom is more of a uh, sort of pH 3. So it is possible to neutralize solutions by just mixing acids and alkalis, or in this case water and uh, acid, but it's really difficult to get back on pH 7, which is why whenever we're neutralizing solutions, start off with pH 7 water as opposed to trying to mix acids and alkalis. Thank you for watching, bye now.